long leaf fan. So ever since I came to Canada uh, back in uh, 1989, is the only team I ever followed. That's one common sense, another sort of way I like to think about it. Now that the playoffs are over, they're literally over. I don't have a second. I don't have a favorite. I don't have anything. As soon as my team is it out, that's the Leafs, I don't cheer for anybody else. Now, that's not to say I wish everyone else harm or anything else like that. But I, I just don't, if you're not into it, like I'm not into following any other team, I'm not going to pretend like I care that the Oilers could win, potentially. And you know what? I wish them nothing but the best, but I'm not going to follow any of the playoffs. I will know what the scores are, uh, but not. I will never watch another game. I don't even care if it's a Stanley Cup final. Kudos to them. Uh, this is just the way I've always done it. So, I guess the common sense about the Leafs is something that my dad said. And uh, I never thought um, that this is something I would ever say. But as because when I was growing up, the Leafs were really the only thing. And I bled blue and white. And I still do. I love them. Uh, but I used to say we when I used to mention the Leafs. And now I don't. And I realized that because it, it was difficult for me to convey how they could not be a part of me. So that's why I always used to say we. But I realized, like, and coming back to what my dad used to say, <laughs> um, my dad used to say, when they start paying me as much as I care, I'll start caring a lot more. And so the paycheck still hasn't come from the Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't own any shares in the Leafs. And so I don't say we. I still say it every now and again when, you know, when the Leafs lose, yeah, we lost last night. However, I, I try and be very um, obvious with my words. Now, again, <clears throat> I'm a Leaf fan, but I'm also a realist. And I will only cheer for the Leafs. I will never have a second team that I cheer for. I know some people have, you know, if the if their primary team leaves and they cheer for the miserable, you know, if you're an some I know some Oilers fans that will, if the Oilers are bounced out of the playoffs and the Flames are still in, they will cheer against the Flames. I'm not cheering against any other team. And I just realized, you know what? Um, the amount of effort that some fans put into uh, being a Leaf fan or any sort of hockey fan is is what I used to do a lot. But then once I started my own business, I realized, man, if I only put that amount of effort into my business as I did to following some of the, these Leaf games, man, I'd be like a millionaire. Or, well, making a lot more money anyways. And so listening to podcasts and other influencers like Ed Milet, um and him talking about having another man's name on a jersey and you wearing it, um, it just kind of brings into focus what's really important. Again, I'm a Leaf fan. I will follow the Leafs. Go Leafs, go. Love Felix Pod fan. He was like the best goalie. And I, man, I wish they could sign him again. <laughs> but it, it's one of those, one of those things where sport is still important and I love playing it and I love cheering for the Leafs. Um, but you know what, though? It's going to get be a really exciting summer. It's going to be a summer filled with a lot of ups and downs. And just because you're a Leaf fan, it's going to get, be that much more exciting. I keep hearing about the team blowing it up and everything else. And you know what? I don't know. I, I don't follow it as closely as I used to and everything else like that. But you know what? I... I hope it's going to be a great season. So, Tom and Sense, that's a full video. And go Leafs, go.